Retro Rocks Gaming Videos. Hey Rob here and welcome to XD Live. Those of you who just were watching XD Live, you're going to be kind of confused because this is exactly the same thing that I recorded before with some minor changes. I do that every once in a while. If I don't like something that went on during the uh, recording, I will do it again. And this is, of course, a redo. It's the same topic, though, with the same thing. And that topic is PlayStation emulation on the GPD XD and uh, this is a tutorial on how to get most of it working all right actually all of it working it's gonna work great by the way also it was a viewer request so i want to make sure it's halfway decent all right so let's start right at the beginning over here at preferences you're gonna need to set some things up the first thing you're gonna need to do is download a bios for the playstation yes it's optional but no it's not optional you really need to do this so go find yourself one you can search on google i'm guessing that you probably own a playstation right come on i own like five of these freaking things <laughs> so uh so you know le legally speaking if you want to stay legal or at least gray area legal you should own a playstation in any game you're running fortunately i have a huge selection of playstation games which is another video i gotta do one of these days have not done that anyway uh I have a huge collection, so I'm no worries about running a foul. Let's hit preferences instead of talking forever. BIOS file location, that's the thing that I asked you to download earlier. Let's show you where to go. I'm going to assume that you have dumped this to your SD card and have that SD card firmly plaqued in, plaqued in, plaqued plugged in to the back of your GPD XD and we're going to go looking for the mount folder MNT because this is Linux E it's not Linux it's Linux E and that's how things go external SD I made a little folder for my PlayStation stuff called PSX and there at the bottom is my BIOS file. You can see that the name of it is scph1001.bin. If you happen to be from Europe or something, yours might be slightly different, but if you want to run American games, whatever, you just get this particular one and you'll be fine. Okay, so we have our BIOS file. Uh, there are a lot of settings in here for video. I basically have kept everything the same. Notice that screen ratio is set to widescreen instead of 4.3, which is the default. If you hate that stretched look, you might want to change that. Let's go down to the bottom here, though, because the first thing that we're going to do for you is we are going to switch to having a DualShock controller so that we can play some Ape Escape. Now, there are some things that you need to do other than this. Uh, not only do you have to switch over to being a DualShock, but you also have to map the axis. By the way, if you're having a problem with the standard buttons, this is where you would set them. Uh, I found that it worked right out of the box, not a big deal. Now, this axis thing though is something you're definitely gonna have to adjust, and I can help you other guys that are on an other Android devices too with this. All right. Those of you using a GPD XD, however, left stick X is axis X. Did I say X? Left stick Y is axis Y. You see how you've got these little radio buttons? Set these this way. Right stick X is axis Z, and right stick Y is axis RZ. And you don't have to worry about these because, I mean, you could make a left two trigger if you want. So left two trigger, uh, but you're gonna, uh, we're gonna have to use this to do it. Actually, I can use this, here we go. Okay, so gamepad test axis is where you would go if you happen to be an Android user and don't know what the axis name is. So if I press up, look at that, axis Y, right and left, axis X, but, how about stick two, RZ for up and down, and axis Z right left, there we go, nice stuff. Unfortunately, oh look at this. So that'll tell you 
So it's axis gas and axis right trigger and axis left trigger uh, for the inner bumpers. So we're going to want to note that too. Let's go back to that axis. Now, here's the thing though, I don't really want these triggers to be on an axis because this thing doesn't really, uh, doesn't really have a uh, variable range to it. It's not analog. So I'm not actually going to do that because it's already set to a button on the other map. But if you wanted to do that, you could do it. If you had the kind of controller that could handle it, you would. But that's uh, that's basically it. So I've got axis X, I got axis Y, I got Z, and I got RZ set to uh, right stick Y. So now I should have no problem running. Oops, ape escape. Here we go, ape escape. Bum 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 bum. I'm bad at ape escape. The dual shock analog controller is required to play this game. That's true. If you did not have the dual stick set up, then it would complain about it. All right, here we go. Ape Escape! New game! Let's go. Anytime now. Here we go. Skip it. Skip it. Skip it. I hate a lot of texting games. It drives me nuts. All right, so uh, there we go. I am now using my right stick to thwack people in the head. And I'll switch this so I can capture my little apes. He is not an ape. Got him. No. I could have swore I had him. And he's down for the count. There we go. A little successful ape escaping. And there goes Ape Escape. Okay, so the next game I'm going to show you is Tekken 3, which I'm terrible at. And uh, this was a viewer request, so look at that. I did viewer requests. See, it happens. Done it twice now because this is a redo video. Okay, arcade mode. And of course, this one does not use the DualShock controller, so I have to go down here and use the D-pad. And we'll just use Law. I can't believe I used to play this all the time. There we go. There we go. Oh, suffer!
Oh yeah, just like the wife and I disagreeing about who's gonna take out the garbage. No. No, that was a joke. <laughs> Woo! Go, go, oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> nice kick in my butt. Ha, ah, kicked in the shin. That'll learn ya. Very nice, I win. And kicked in the face, in the kneecap. Look at that. Wow. I'm just so freaking good at this game, I'm going to go on to the next game before I embarrass it, he says bravely before the game actually gets hard. Next we're going to go with, I'm going to go with Ridge Racer, Revolution. Alright, oh hey, something to note on this one, uh, the controls aren't going to work. And the reason the controls aren't going to work... Unless I'm uh, mistaken. Yeah. All right. Hold on a minute. Let's quit this game for a second. And uh, let's go into preferences. It is because it does not like the dual shock at all. At all. It hates it. So I'm going to switch this over. Where are you? There we go. Xbox mode is digital only. And back up. Let's go. Run it. Mm -hmm. I used to love that with PlayStation games when they had those little intro games. They were great. I am a novice. That is true. Also, I like to see my car. Not good drifting on my part. Oh, I am horrendously bad. There we go, I've had a little bit. I don't know where that thung came from. I didn't hit anything, I swear. Great looking game though. Man, we used to play this game all the time. Amazed at how rusty amazingly rusty at this really bad all right let's quit the game and then let's go for our type delta not the best reviewed of the r type series but fun nonetheless I'm an unregistered pilot. Danger.
Oh yeah, there we go. Sucker. Oh yeah, that was a takedown. And I'm dead. Alright, finally, let's close this out with some jumping flash. By the way, if you want to see Doom or Pepsi Man, I think I did that on my one month video. So you can see those there. One month of the GPD XD. Not a month of me living. At one month I wasn't playing video games. One of the first games I owned for the PlayStation was Jumping Flash. And I loved it. It was freaking amazing. I just could not believe it. Just such an oddball game. I really like this one. All right. And let's try and try and save the moos. There's one. Here comes two. Uh, go get him. Okay, two more left. Okay, there's the other one. I'll avoid that guy. Alright, here we go. Let's try and get him. Yay! I didn't see this other guy. Get out of here, bird. Let's see, where is he? Way over there. I wonder if I can reach that. Well, oh yeah. All right, exit time. No! That sucker, I died right before I got to exit. <sighs> come on, come on! And here we go! Stage clear. There we go. All right. So this has been GPD XD Live, and this has been the PlayStation edition of it. So yeah, in the end, yeah, the XD obviously does a good job at emulating the PlayStation. It's not an episode of Live without me dropping something. Uh, does a really good job. Uh, quite obviously, uh, this emulator is good. I haven't really run into much it doesn't run either. So yeah, go ahead. 
get that PlayStation stuff going. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor, thumbs up and subscribe for more. I will see you next week with more XD Live and of course um, retro stuff all throughout the week. I've got another device. Where is that thing? The pocket chip. It's around here somewhere anyway. Uh, the pocket chip. <laughs> which is like this tiny little $9 computer, but it's snapped into a $50 frame. So it's really is a $60 computer, but it's this tiny little thing with Linux on it. Uh, really kind of cool. That video is coming up probably tomorrow around noonish. Uh, and then I've got to sneak in one more, and I'm hoping it's going to be one of those plug and plays because uh, I've got another one here, and I'm going to try and sneak some time away to get a video shot on it. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time. Retro Rocks Gaming Videos